Hey everyone, Jason here. As you can see, my mono wheel did not survive the trip down the stairs very well, but I figure as I reassemble it, I can explain how it all works. I've actually been working on this project for a while now, and it all came about as I was thinking of ways to build a working Lego BB-8 droid. So in that respect, it's very much a proof of concept model. But even as a finished working mono wheel, I still consider it very much a work in progress. It does technically work, but there are a few issues with the control system, which I hope to make improvements to in the future. But for now, let's take a look at how it works. For the wheel itself, I built a track using these flexible tubes, which LEGO has produced in various lengths over the years. And I actually cut these so that they would be the exact length needed to make a circle of the correct size. Each tread of the track is built using these curved slopes and they slide onto those flex tubes using these Technic bricks with axle holes in them. Equally spaced around the track are these brackets which attach to the inside of the side discs. And I designed them so that the edge of the track overlaps the discs which is what maintains the perfectly circular shape of the wheel. This is the engine of the wheel, and here is a battery box, two power functions M motors, the infrared receiver, and I have two weight bricks here that act as a counterweight, which is what the propulsion and steering are based around. For propulsion, this M motor rotates the axle that runs through the center of the engine core and is attached on either side to the side discs. And since the counterweight is so heavy, gravity will maintain the orientation of the engine. So as the discs turn, the wheel will move. For steering, I'm using this M motor, which slides the entire engine core from side to side along this gear rack. And as it goes to one side, the weight of it causes the wheel to lean, which causes it to turn in that direction. And if we take a look at the track, you can see I have these red plates along the edge, which in effect create a raised lip at the end of the slopes to prevent the wheel from leaning too far in one direction. But in practice, it's actually quite easy for the wheel to lean too far and fall over. Another big problem with the steering is that there's no self-centering mechanism. So it's really hard to bring back the engine core to the center in a reliable way, which usually results in a lot of erratic steering. As I said, I do have some ideas for improvements that could be made to it. So if I ever do get a version of it working well enough, I might put together building instructions for it. Until then, as always, thanks for watching. Keep on building and I will see you next time.